Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of straight lines. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that we need to find the distance of the origin from the centroid of the triangle. So we need to find the distance of the origin from the centroid of the triangle whose two sides, so two sides of the triangle have the equations. One is 2x minus y minus 1 equal to 0 and the other is x minus 2y plus 1. So the two sides have these two linear equations and we have been told that the ortho center of this triangle lies at coordinate 7 by 3 comma 7. So we need to find the distance of the origin from the centroid and there are four options given root 2, 2, 2 root 2 and the last option given is 3. So we need to figure out which one of the options is the correct answer for the question given to us. So to find the distance of the origin from the centroid of the triangle G, we will need first all the three vertices that is A, B and C's coordinates. So I can see and tell that the coordinates of A I can just find out by solving these two linear equations simultaneously. So if I try to solve the two equations simultaneously, So I will make my y coordinate same here or let's say let's make x coordinate same. So I will multiply my previous equation that is the first equation by 2. So my equation becomes 2x minus 4y plus 1 equal to 0. The other equation is 2x minus y minus 1 equal to 0. So I am multiplying my previous equation that is the first equation by 2. I get 2x minus 4y plus 1 into 2. So it should be not 1, it should be 2. If I solve these two linear equations simultaneously, I subtract them. So all the signs get changed. This gets cancelled. You get minus 3y plus 3 is equal to 0. That makes it y is equal to 1. If I put y is equal to 1 in any of my equation, so let's put that y equal to 1 in the first equation. So x becomes 2 minus 1, that is 1. So you get x as 1, you get y as 1. So your coordinates of this point or the vertex A becomes 1 comma 1. Once you have the coordinates of A, let's find coordinates of B and C. So to find the coordinates of B, I'll draw a triangle. I have my first equation of line here as x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0. The other equation of line is 2x minus y minus 1 equal to 0. Once I have these two linear equations, I want to find the equation of the, or I want to find the remaining two coordinates B and C. So to find them, I will use the idea of the ortho center. I have been given ortho center is 7 by 3 comma 7 by 3. So I know ortho center is nothing but intersection of the altitudes drawn through B and C. So this O is given to me as 7 by 3 comma 7. Let's say this point is H and let's say this point is F. So I need to find the equation of the lines BH and CF. So I know if I want to find equation of line BH, the slope of the line would be negative reciprocal to the slope of this line because both the lines are perpendicular. So if I have my linear equation in the form 2x minus y minus 1 equal to 0, I can write that as y is equal to 2x minus 1. Comparing it with y equal to mx plus c, the slope in this case becomes 2. So when I have the slope as 2 for this line, my slope for the line bh is negative reciprocal because it's a perpendicular line. So you get minus 1 by 2 is your slope of the line passing to BH. So your equation of line BH, let's see what does that become. Y equal to MX plus C. 
I know slope is minus half, so that makes it minus half plus c, where c is your y-intercept. So to find c, what I can do here is, I know this equation of line bh also passes through this ortho center point 7 by 3, comma 7 by 3. So I can just substitute x as 7 by 3, I can just substitute y also as 7 by 3. So if I substitute x and y, I get the value of c, that is y-intercept. So c becomes y plus half x. That is 7 by 3 plus half of the 7 by 3. So to make the denominator same, I'll multiply my denominator and numerator by 2. So I get this as 14 plus 7, 21 by 6. If I try to cancel it by a common now number, 3 7s are 3 2s are, so you get 7 by 2 as your y intercept. So your equation of line becomes y is equal to minus half x plus 7 by 2. I have the common denominator 2 here, so my equation of line, let's see what does that do. So it becomes y equal to minus 1x plus 7 upon 2. 2, if I take it on the other side, my equation of line becomes 2y equal to minus 1x plus 7. So that is your equation of line bh, 2y equal to minus 1x plus 7. I can just see now that my point b, which is there, it is intersection of this line x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0 and this line which is bh for which also we found the equation of line. So if I want to find my coordinate b, I can just solve two linear equations again simultaneously. One is x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0. The other is 2y equal to minus 1x. So if I take it on the other side, it goes 2y plus x and minus 7. So to solve this two simultaneously, if I add both of these ideas, I get x plus x, 2x, minus 2y and plus 2y gets cancelled, and 1 minus 7 gives you 6, minus 6. So 2x equals to 6, x is equal to 3. Substituting x equal to 3, plus 1 minus 2y equal to 0, 4 is equal to 2y, y is equal to so I get my coordinates of B toning out of it on 3, 2. Once I have my coordinates B also known 3, 2, I have my A coordinates known that is 1, 1. Okay. I can just find my coordinates of C. Let's do that. So to find the coordinates of C, what I can do again the same idea. I'll find the equation of line CF. So I know my equation x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0. If I find the slope of this line, 2y becomes x plus 1. y becomes half x plus half. Comparing it with y equal to mx plus c, I get slope as half. Once I get my slope as half, I have been told that equation of line cf is perpendicular to this x minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0, for which we got the slope as half. So I can find slope of line CF is equal to negative reciprocal of half, that is minus 2. So I have my slope as minus 2. Let's figure out, once we have the slope here, I can again find the equation of line CF. That is again given by y equal to mx plus c, that is y equal to minus 2x plus c. I know the value of x and I don't know the value of c. To find c, I'll put the values of x and y again as 7 by 3, comma 7 by 3 because this line also, if you see, na, cf, that also, if you see cf, that also passes through this ortho center, 7 by 3, comma 7 by 3. So if I just substitute x and y, 7 by 3, I'll get c. That becomes y plus 2x. That is 7 by 3 plus 2 into 7 by 3. So that makes it 21 by 3, that is 7. So my equation of CF becomes y equal to minus 2x plus 7. Once I have my equation again, to find the point C, I have two equations of line. One is y equal to minus 2x plus 7. The other equation of line I have here is C is the intersection of two lines. One is, we already got that, y equal to minus 2x plus 7. The other equation of line is 2x minus y minus 2x. So if I write that, 
2x minus y minus 2. See? So from this, I get y as 2x minus 1. From here, I have y as minus 2x plus 7. If I add both of them, I get 2y equal to, this becomes 0 and this becomes 6. So y becomes 3. I get y as 3. If I want to find x, I will just put x here or here. Find that, I get 2x is equal to y plus 1, that is 3 plus 1, and x becomes 4 by 2, that is 2. So I get my coordinates of c as well, that is 2 for 1. I have all of the three coordinates known. Once I have all the three coordinates known for the triangle, I can just find the coordinates of centroid C. That is given by x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon 3 and y1 plus y2. Find x1, x2, x3. Let's put that coordinates, which you know a is 1, comma 1. B we got that as 3, comma 2. C, we got that as 2. So if I substitute x1, x2, x3, we get my coordinates of g as 1 plus 3 plus 2 upon 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3 upon 3. So you get your coordinates of g as 6 by 3, that is 2, and 2. So you get 2 comma 2. Once you get the coordinates of g, if you just find the distance of origin from centroid, that is 2 comma 2. Distance becomes root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y2. So it becomes root of 2 square that is 4 plus 2 square that is 4. So root of 8 and that makes it 2. So you get the distance of the origin from the centroid that is 2 root 2. And if you see that matches with option C. So C is the correct answer for the question given to us get that answer as options. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question which deals with the ideas of straight lines. So first we figured out the coordinate of A solving these two linear equations simultaneously. Then to find B and C, what we did was we found the equations of the altitudes which are perpendicular to those lines. Once we find the equations of the altitudes, we just Substituted two linear equations simultaneously to get the coordinates of C as well as the coordinates of B. Once I got all the three coordinates, I can easily find the coordinates of centroid. That is x1, x2, x3 sum upon B and y1, y2, y3 sum upon B. Once I got the coordinates of centroid, I just found the distance of the origin from centroid. That gave me the answer as C. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12 as well as JW things. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JW. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on a regular basis. Thank you.